This is question 2 of paper 2, November 2020. The number of aircraft landing at the King Shaka International Airport and the Port Elizabeth Airport for the period starting in April 2017 and ending in March 2018 is shown in the double bar graph below. 2.1 The number of aircraft landing at the Port Elizabeth Airport exceeds the number of aircraft landing at the King Shaka International Airport during some months of the given period. During which month is the difference the greatest? Now looking at the given bar graphs, we can see that the greatest difference is here in July. 2.2 The number of aircraft landing at the King Shaka International Airport during these months are these values. Calculate the mean of the data. So to calculate the mean, we need to add up all of the values. And then we see there are 12 values, so we would divide it by 12. So that is equals to 2,245.083 aircraft. And if we round off the two decimal places, it's 2,245.08. 2.3. Calculate the standard deviation for the number of aircraft landing at the King Shark International Airport for the given period. And we will use our calculators for this question. So in the previous question, I already used my calculator to enter data. So first, I will need to clear that. So it's shift. 9, and then I clear all. Now I'm going to put my calculator back into statistics mode, so it's mode 2. And I want to find the standard deviation, so it's the first option. So it's 1. And now I enter the data values. So after you've entered all the data values, you press AC. Then shift. 1 and we want to find the standard deviation so it's option 4 and we press 3 for the standard deviation that is 86.3 2.4 determine the number of months in which the number of aircraft landing at the King Shark International Airport were within one standard deviation of the mean so I already have the standard deviation and I already have the mean. So I need to create an interval. So it's the mean minus one standard deviation for the lower value. And then the mean plus one standard deviation for the upper value. If they ask you for two standard deviations, then you simply have two times the standard deviation. Now I substitute the values which I have. So the limits are 2,158.78, that's our lower limit, up until 2,331.38 as our upper level. Now we need to be careful. The question says, how many fall within one standard deviation? Sometimes the question says, out of one standard deviation. So now we look at the number of values within that range. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That one is too, too high. 7. That one is too high. This one is too low. 8, 9. So therefore, 9 months. 2.5. Which one of the following statements is correct? A. During December and January, there were more landings at the Port Elizabeth Airport than at King Shaka Airport. So on the bar graph given, it is King Shaka and then Port Elizabeth. So this is King Shaka and this is Port Elizabeth. And we're speaking about 
December and January. So looking at December and January, we could see that Port Elizabeth had less landing. So A is false. B. There was a greater variation in the number of aircraft landings at the King Shaka International Airport than at Port Elizabeth Airport for the given period. So if we look at variation, they are saying that King Shaka has a higher variation than the Port Elizabeth Airport. So you can see that the range of the Port Elizabeth Airport is much wider than the range of the King Shaka Airport. And the King Shaka flights are more or less within this band between 2000 and 2500. So that statement would be false. And without reading the last one, we can see that it is true. So the standard deviation of the number of landings at the Port Elizabeth Airport will be higher than the standard deviation of the number of landings at the King Shaka International Airport. And that is true. Standard deviation, you can see that the difference between data points are higher for the Port Elizabeth Airport than that of the King Shaka Airport.